The related post feature allows you to link a relevant article inside of a blog post content, which brings a new experience to your visitors and helps to catch the reader's attention. In this video, I will show you how to enable inline related posts for internal linking step by step. Let's get started. Please note that to access the related post feature, you will need to install and activate Rishi Pro plugin and then activate the advanced blogging extension. From your WordPress admin dashboard, go to Appearance and click on Rishi theme. Go to Extensions, click on Pro Extensions. From under Advanced Blogging, click on the Activate button. Once the extension is activated, you can access Related Post setting by directly clicking on the Configure button. I'm going to open it in the new tab. From under Advanced Blogging, you have to click on Related Posts. Alternatively, from your dashboard, you can click on Customize, which will take you to the Customizer settings. Then from under Extensions, you have to click on Advanced Blogging, then click on Related Posts. The first option is to show inline related posts. Before I enable this option, Let's go to our blog page and I will open one of the blog posts. Let's open first one. Now, let's enable show inline related posts option. As soon as you enable it, you will see that the related posts are showing inside the post content. From under layouts, you can select layout. The default layout is the layout number one. You can go with layout number two. I will select the default layout, the layout number one. From under section title, you can add in the title of your choice. Next, you can select the post filter based on category or tags. I will select Category. Then you can enable or disable to show the thumbnail. Images. You can disable. Or you can enable them back on. Next is the full width related post. If you enable this option, it will make the related post section full width. As it is showing on the screen right now. Then, you can also set the number of paragraphs after which you want to show the related posts. Right now, three paragraphs are selected, one, two, and three. You can decrease the number of paragraphs, after which the related posts will show after two paragraphs, one and two. If you want to choose more, let's say six, maybe. Then the related posts will show after six paragraphs. Let's reset it and set the number back to three. Next, you can set at which position the related post should show in case the number of paragraphs set is less than the content. You can set the position as top or bottom. Then under design, you can select the title font for your related posts. By default, it inherits the template's font. You can select the font family, the font style, as well as set the font size. You can increase or decrease the size. You can set the line height, letter spacing, and apply other styling options. Then from inside the content font, you can select the font family for your content. You can select the font style as well as 
set the font size. Just like with the title, you can increase or decrease it. Then you can also set the line height, letter spacing and apply other styling options. You can also select the background color. You can select the color from the palette or you can just select a different color. You can also select the title color, the post title color, as well as the hover color. You can also select the navigation button color. The background color is now set as white. If you want to change it to some other color, then you can make the changes as well. You can also select the hover color following the same process. Then you can also set the border. You can select the types of border. If you don't want to add any border, you can click on none. But if you do want to add the border, you can select the border from here. Then you can choose the color. You can select black or you can select blue or any other color of your choice. Then you can select the thickness of the border. By default, number 2 has been selected. You can add in a higher value, which will also increase the thickness of the border. Or you can reset the changes by clicking on the reset icon. I'm going to set the border color as black. Then you can set the padding for the related posts that do across different devices. After you are done, click on publish to save the changes. Let's go to our front end. Let's go to our blog page and we'll open our blog post, the first blog post where we had added the inline related posts. And this is what it looks like on the front end. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can always reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.